Uh, hey, the lights. Hey, got. Okay, thank you. We're good here. Never mind. I think I'm gonna need a drink though. This. Whoa, it's turbulence. Ah, back in the seat. Head between the legs. And stop, drop, and roll. Okay, just a little turbulence. We're fine. Okay, let's go make that drink. Where's the flight attendant on this flight anyway? I always take these red eyes. And it's just me and the pilots. Hey guys, how we doing up there anyway? Seems like it's a little bit turbulent. Uh, guys, can you even see? Gentlemen. It seems like, seems like they're trying to concentrate. Alright, I'll just leave you to it then. Let's not bother them. Alright, let's mix up a martini. Martini's gonna make everything alright. Uh, let's just, let's just cook that up there. Oh, yeah. Let's snag that. Oh, yeah. Down the hatch, gentlemen. Whoa. Alright, you just do what you do and I'll do what I do. Mmm. Ah, you are gonna get me to the South Pacific, right? I gotta see Cheryl Teagues. I just escaped. Pr I mean, <clears throat> I have a uh, a ticket to paradise, and um, yeah, never mind. Let's go sit down. Yeah, it's gonna be a long flight. Ah, <sighs> okay. Can't wait to see Cheryl. Saul Goodman, set me up. Uh, guys, oh, 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 hello. Ah, uh, I don't think this is supposed to happen. Hey, uh, fellas. It seems like we're turning. Oh, is this... Are we there? Oh, we're going... I think we're going down. That was bad. Oh. Yep. Mm-mm. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Alright, I've heard of rough landings, but this is ridiculous. Right, let's get on this raft, shall we? Um, yeah, I don't think this is the right place. Oh, let's try to get something to the turbine. Oh, okay, there we go. That hurt. I think I'm unconscious. And that, my friends, is how Pablo Punchwood, the hero of our story, as well as ex-con and recent escapee of multiple prisons, if you watch my escapists, series that is, had found himself in a life raft in the South Pacific with dolphins! Yay! So cute. Here, dolphin, come here. Pablo Punchwood has always wanted to swim with dolphins, and now he has his... Well, no, he doesn't. See, Pablo Punchwood is a city boy, and he can't tell the difference between dolphins and tiger sharks. <laughs> Let's get over to the island, shall we? So welcome back, everybody. This is Stranded Deep. It seems like, in case you haven't noticed anyway, because it seems like everybody... Oh my gosh, they seem hungry. Let's get over... Bad dolphins. Bad dolphins. Let's get to the island quickly now. It seems like everybody is playing this lately. All the YouTubers in YouTubeville. Everybody, including their brothers, and uncles, sisters, aunts, gerbils, hamsters, wabbits, is all playing The Stranded Deep. It is, in fact, I think in the top five Steam sellers list. And it has been there for uh, a good week or so, at least since it came out. I'm sorry, I can't swim with you right now. I have to go eat and build a fire. So I will swim with you later. He's so cute. All right, let's get started here, guys. So, again, this is Stranded Deep. It is a survival sandbox um, in, an, uh, I guess, an unending ocean with multiple islands. We've got shipwrecks here that can be looted. We, we're going to explore a bit. Obviously, we can do some crafting and some building. Um... Of course, the ultimate goal is to stay, to stay alive, and in order to do that, we have some tools at our disposal, but we're also going to have to build some things as well. First things first, let's get familiar with Beepy. Beepy here is a very highly specialized watch that not only gives me time, but also the, it looks like the air temperature around me, 108 degrees Fahrenheit, which I would guess translates roughly to about f somewhere in the low 40s centigrade. If my calculations are correct, it is the 21st of August, so it is, uh, it's summer, it's really hot, zero days survived. Of course, we are in the South Pacific, so it's always going to be hot here, so I would imagine hydration and overheating could be an issue. We shall see, and I'm going to click on the button here and then look at our vitals. So BP also keeps track of our health, that's the heart, our food, that's the little meat pop there, and the center, and hydration is the drip on the right and i think that's pretty much everything all right 
So let's get started. And by the way, if you want to know uh, the ins and the outs of this game, the, the nitty gritty stuff, the who's, the what's, when's, and where's, and why's, I'll put a link down below to my test drive video where I talk about that stuff. In this particular video and uh, subsequent videos in the series, hello little fellas, come here you, will be um, mainly just a playthrough. So let's get started here. So first things first, in a survival scenario where you crash on a plane or find yourself on a deserted island, you really ought to uh, start gathering resources. This is one of the first things you do when you find yourself lost and confused in the wilderness. Actually, there's an acronym. It's called STOP, S-T-O-P. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is sit down. That's the S. The T is to think. The O is to observe. And the P is to prepare um, a good acronym to keep in mind. Now, how the dickens do I get in here without chopping my fingers and arms off through this wreck? Some of these wrecks will have uh, chests and things inside. Doesn't look like this one does, which is quite unfortunate. Maybe up on top. Because you can find some tools right off the bat so you don't have to craft anything. But Oh, there's a chest right up on top, too. Look at that. I think I can build a ladder. I'm pretty sure I can build a ladder. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able... Oh, hi! It's the dolphin! Excuse me, I'm just going to climb up in this thing, if you don't mind. Um, no, not looking good. Alright, forget it. We're not going to waste any more time there. I'm not sure exactly how we can get up there. Maybe I can climb this palm tree. How do you climb palm trees? I'm literally climbing this palm tree, guys. This is probably... Oh, oh I am climbing the palm tree! Oh, wow. That's cool. I know I can... Ow. Ooh, flip them off. Flip them off. Pull them off. <laughs> Alright, I know... Uh oh I know I can just chop the palm tree down with the right tool, but that's pretty cool that I can climb. Awesome. Alright, so we have food here. Obviously, we've got green coconuts that we can use to drink and eat, so our uh, food and hydration ought to be taken care of for a little bit. And again, one of the first things you're going to want to do here is gather... Uh, resources and any kind of food and water or we'll find a water source anyway that you can find and just gather it all up bring it to a central location and start crafting and building two things we're going to want right away or at least one thing anyway will be a fire this is a critical um, critical tool to help you survive as well as a shelter I don't think we have to worry about the shelter too much. It's not really a priority here, I don't think. I'm not sure how much of the actual temperature affects us or the rain or anything in the game yet. It might come down the pike. We might have to worry about overheating or hypothermia in the rain or whatnot, but I don't think that's a concern just yet. So right now we're interested in wood and rocks and yucca, the lashings there, which you can get from the yucca plants. Uh, here's a potato plant. I'm going to leave that alone for now. I'm going to bring my stones over here. Rocks, the lashings. We're going to gather it up in a big old pile. And now we're going to need a tool to chop down some of this wood. Now I have, in an earlier playthrough, just kind of getting my feet wet, ba -dum -bum -tsh, with Stranded Deep, I have found axes and machetes already made up in some of these wrecks. Like I said, you can find boxes and things. But sadly... Oh, here we go. Yes, toolbox. Open it up. I can't see in. Duct tape! Ooh, duct tape! Hey! Pablo Punchman has a lot of experience with duct tape. Having spent time in six prisons, duct tape is uh, quite useful, in fact, in prison. Everybody wants some duct tape. Two duct tape! Nice! However, I would really like some sort of a uh, chopping tool. I can make one, though. No big deal. We're just going to have to use the stones. I was hoping to preserve the stones. Because believe it or not, even though we're on a tropical island here in the South Pacific, um, there's only a few rocks that are actually usable. Well, here's one. On the island itself. So we have to, um, we're going to have to go to other islands. And it is good to have a few of these rocks around. 
to make fire pits and so forth. But we want at least one, and I'm going to show you what we do with this rock. I'm going to drop it over here, and I'm going to whack it. Can I whack it with another rock, I wonder? No. I can't whack it. Actually, no, I don't need to whack it. I'm not going to make a shard just yet. Hold on. Make sure I got my recipe right. So if you have a lashing, a stick, and a rock nearby, you get that menu there. I'm going to right-click, uh, left-click, rather, and now I can make an axe and a hammer. I'm going to start with the axe so that we can chop down some trees and get some wood. The hammer's only useful for building things, and we are not going to build a shelter just yet, at least not in this particular episode. Let's go get a tree that we haven't got the uh, coconuts from. Chop it down merely by whacking it with our stone axe. And we should get an animation. I'm climbing it. There we go. You see the chips fly. That's what we're looking for. Knock this down in a few whacks. There come the cocoa nuts. Look out below. And now this is... You can see that it's uh, it's got multiple sections. I'm going to start with a palm a bunch over here, which is going to give us palm fronds. Hans and fronds. And these can be used for uh, shelters, building up walls and roofs. And then we're going to get some sticks. I'm going to grab my Hans and Franz. And we're going to chop up the trunk here and get some sticks. So yeah, one of the first things you do, guys, you ever get lost out in the woods, you want to get out and uh, do some gathering. Don't leave your area. Basically want to mark a, a point zero, or ground zero, is what it's called. And that's going to be kind of your, your home location for a while. And you don't want to wander too far from that. And you're going to observe the local area and see if you can find a, a water source, maybe a food source. And, of course, when you are literally lost, you would expect people to be looking for you. So your, your whole... Your... Your main focus should be getting found. So you want to be as conspicuous as possible. You obviously want to get a, a fire going right away. Not only for a signal, because so people can see it, but also because fires, well, fires mean life. We're going to get one going right now. Because they, pro they not only do they provide uh, warmth, but just even mental, the mental comfort that you get from a fire can be tremendous. So that's how you make a campfire. I'm not going to light it just yet. In fact, I'm going to drop all this stuff. Let's drop Hans and Franz. And I think I'm going to drop my water bottle. I don't really need that right now. Let's just check the hydration. Okay, I'm getting a little bit hungry and a little dehydrated, but not terribly so. Put that there. And let's go back and get some more wood. You can make a bed and sleep through the night. Pretty sure. Oops. I love the physics in this game. You can actually literally pick things up and move them around. Holding it down. Holding the right mouse button down. So yeah, you want to build a fire pretty much right away if you can. And you want to start thinking about getting that fire going uh, ASAP well before you actually need it. So getting a fire started here is very easy. You can just literally light the sticks with your with your lighter. Um, I challenge you to try that in the real world, though. Without any sort of tinder, it's not quite that easy getting a fire started. Not even with a lighter. But hey, it's a game, and we will forgive it for those sorts of uh, gamey things. Let's um, let's 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 let's. How many sticks do we have? We can now make. Um, I think the fire pit. No, I can't make the fire pit yet. I think I need. I think I need one more rock for the fire pit. Because the fire pit is more permanent. Yeah, I'm going to need one more rock. Now we should be able to. So I want to upgrade this. And I think we need to actually bring it over toward the fire. I'll just stack it all up over here. We've got a nice fire pit going. And toss, toss, toss. And toss, toss, toss. And can't fire. Do I have... Oh, maybe I need six stones. Yeah, guys, we need six rocks for a fire pit. So I'm going to need one more. Oh, another rock. Look at that. I walked right, pa right past that one. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have any rock. I won't have any rocks to make the... Um, 
to make the actual tools. But as long as I have this axe, I don't really need the hammer right now. I will probably take a raft off to one of these other islands and gather the rocks over there. But I really want this fire pit. I've never made one. Oh, baby. Check it out. Yeah. Now we light it with the lighter. Get that stick out of there. And poof. Let there be light. Awesome. I am the fire master. I have created fire. So this is totally the Tom Hanks castaway simulator, I call it. Which is just a fantastic movie. And this reminds me of that movie so much. So that's great. Now we have fire. Fire is life. We can cook on this. We can uh, we can purify water on it. Uh, I'm not sure about in this game, honestly, whether or not we can even source water. Other than the, the coconuts. So, in fact, let me show you how to do this. I'm going to use my stone for this. My stone... Axe. Let's bring a couple coconuts over by the fire where it's nice and toasty, warm, and cozy. And we'll just drop them on the ground. I'm going to grab my axe back out and just whack. You want to whack it until you remove the green husk around it. And then it's a brown coconut. You hit it once and it becomes a drinkable coconut. And you just... Mm, down the hatch. It's not quite a martini. Now, can I drink it more than once? No. Now, let's see how that does on our hydration here. Ah, oh, we're full up with the hydration, but we could probably eat a little bit. So, coconut water is all the rage these days, right? So, I don't know if it's true or false, um, all the clams that they're making, but heck, we'll drink coconut water all day long here and survive on it. So, now we're going to eat. And merely chopping your coconut in half, you get the... Uh, you get to eat the meat out of the coconut, and that didn't really provide a whole lot of food, did it? But that's that was enough to get me through the night. You want to have some calories in the system when you go to sleep so you don't get hypothermia. Your body has those calories to burn and keep you warm through the night. Now, I could potentially make a bed if I get some more palm fronds. I'll probably just work right through the night, in fact. We might as well put a bed down here next to the fire. We'll have something cozy to sleep on. But I think, actually, I think we're going to have to call it quits right now. Um, the irony of the situation here right now, guys, is that it is literally a blizzard outside in the real world. We have probably about a foot of snow right now. We could get up to two. It's going to snow for the next 24 hours. <laughs> um, so I am buried in, and I'm going to get outside and do some shoveling. So I think for now, we're just going to call it quits here in this episode number one. Episode number two, we will continue our survival here and uh, we'll talk more about how to survive in the wilderness and uh, we'll make up a shelter and go explore some other islands and see what we can't find. Now I'm pretty sure we can cook some crabs on here too. Actually I don't think we can cook the crabs on this fire. There's one other fire we can make which is uh, one that you can cook on. Oh hey I just figured out how to make the fire pit. Check it out. So we've got three sticks here and a lashing and I've got the menu pop up here so check it out there we go fire spit that's what it is and that is going to allow us to cook with the quabbies and I think we can just stick them right on on the spit let's try it out hello little fella I think yeah, I can't pick him up live I'm gonna have to just mm, stab you sorry mm. so we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna grill them I guess huh is that what you do you just grill them Oh, just click. No, oh, sizzle, sizzle. Sounds delicious. Then they cook one crab at a time. Yeah, he's always oh, hanging right there from the from the lashing that we made from the yucca. As if that wouldn't burn. Well, that's okay. You gotta suspend your disbelief a little bit. You wait your turn. Now, how long is that gonna take? You want to make sure that these are thoroughly cooked in case they have any bacteria in them. I'm not a huge fan of shellfish, to be honest, because they're bottom feeders, and who knows what the heck they're eating at the bottom of the ocean. All right, come here. Are you done? There's a small male crab. I don't want to eat it raw, but I'm not sure how to determine if it's fully cooked yet. Let's grab it now. A small male crab. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to try to eat it. Mmm. I didn't get sick, so it must have been good. I have eaten the raw crab in this game once before, and I got kind of a sick effect. Yeah, I just hang it right from that lashing. That's awesome. All right, well, there we go. Look at that. Crabs by the, uh, by the ocean. Doesn't get any fresher than that. All right, guys. With that, we are going to end 
for real. So we'll see you next time. Is that a light flashing in that?